Introduction to the Legend of the Demon Saint of the Wilderness Wu Hongjun, a hundred years later, passed on the Dharma of Dalao and becoming a saint in the Zixiao Palace, which can be heard by the Taiyi immortal family. Listening to the sound of such a grand bell and great LV coming from somewhere, Yang Lei felt very uncomfortable. Dao Zhu, I also want to hear it. Your Majesty, it is widely rumored that the Yang Shu Jing is your illegitimate child, so you have passed on his technique of transforming the golden and black rainbow. With a single glare, he gave birth to a son named Yang Shu. Your Majesty, it seems that there has been another major move in the interception and elucidation of the two religions. Hurry up and invite Yang Qing to see what he hears again. Hey, I said I didn't eavesdrop, it's just that they drifted into my ear, and besides, in the vast world, who knows that I keep my mouth shut like Yang Sancher alas, Ching Wan Fairy, the fact that you have suffered from the lovesickness of the great god Lu Wu is not something I have spread what does what Yang Lei said have to do with my three stones. Chapter 1 Shanin Yang Shu, Third Transmission to Zixiao Palace You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Ah! Yang Lei sighed helplessly as he watched the sun disappear over the mountain. It has been several years since he arrived at the flood and wasteland, and Yang Lei has long accepted the fact that he has been reborn as a poplar tree, but it is not easy to survive these days. I don't know if it's luck or bad luck, but I was born in a shady valley where I can only get sunlight for less than two hours a day. Although he has tried his best to grow taller, he still appears extremely thin. The good news is that this Shanin Valley seems to be a feng shui treasure trove, surrounded by mountains forming an innate formation that gathers innate energy as if it is nurturing some magical treasure. As a result, it has become a legendary innate spiritual root, and this formation itself seems to be very good at concealment. There are always immortals flying in the sky, but they don't take a closer look at this treasure trove. The bad news is not just about stunted development due to limited exposure to sunlight, but more importantly, it lies in the innate spiritual roots. Innate nature is a good thing. After the creation of Pangu, the creatures born were all innate beings. Nowadays, it is unknown how many primordial beings have been created. Although innate beings are occasionally born, they are basically all postnatal beings. Yang Lei was born in this era, and being able to become an innate creature is undoubtedly a fortunate thing. But unfortunately, it also comes with it. What is the innate spiritual root, a treasure? It's a spiritual material. Anyway, it's not even a living creature. If it can bear fruit or something, it's easy to say. It's possible that there will be great potential to dig it back and cultivate it carefully. But over the years, Yang Lei has also figured out the mystery of this body, which is a solid spiritual talent born to become a pillar of the pillars. That is to say, if one cannot attain enlightenment, sooner or later they will be chopped down and used to refine magic treasures. If they want to run away, their roots are all here. What's the point of running away? As for how difficult it is to achieve enlightenment. The cultivation of plant and wood spirits is undoubtedly the most difficult. It's not that the speed of cultivation should be slow, but that all plant and wood spirits have their own bodies. If their bodies are destroyed, their Taoist practices will be basically useless, which is equivalent to a basic cool rhythm. However, except for some strange plants and trees, they all have no long legs, which means that if someone discovers them, they can't run even if they want to. Besides, in what era and in the wilderness, will great abilities be in the minority? Nowadays, what kind of thing is oneself? A poplar spirit that has reluctantly summarized a set of absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and has self-awareness. It is not without the power of plants and trees to get the way. For example, the quasi-Taoist legend is that Yan Fu got the way with his seven treasures and wonderful trees. Zhen Yuanzi has an indissoluble bond with the ginseng fruit tree. As for others, such as Huang Zhongli, flat peach, laurel and hibiscus, we have never heard of people who get the way. It can be seen that it is far more difficult to get the way as a plant spirit than other creatures. Although he was very worried about when he would be chopped off, life still needed to continue. 
The sunshine had already gone far, and Yang Lei slowly absorbed the innate spiritual energy around him. Although he didn't know the concentration of the external spiritual energy, Ong Lei could be certain that the spiritual energy concentration in this shady mountain area was definitely much higher. He doesn't have any lofty goals either, but now he wants to refine this entity as soon as possible, no longer limited by this body, able to move freely, and at least have a little chance of running away when facing danger. Although he doesn't know how to refine it, it's always right to carry more spiritual energy from heaven and earth. As they were moving, a majestic sound suddenly came from heaven and earth. Wu Hongjun, a hundred years later, will preach the Dharma of Dalao and becoming a saint in Zixiao Palace, which can be heard by the Taiyi immortal family. Listening to the sound of such a grand bell and great LV coming from somewhere, Ong Lei felt very uncomfortable and silently shed tears in his heart. Dao Zhu, I also want to hear it. It's already the time for the third preaching in Zixiao Palace. It is rumored that after the founding of Pangu, there was a great calamity of the Dragon and Han dynasties, with the Dragon, Phoenix, and Chilin tribes vying for the position of the protagonist of heaven and earth. However, none of the three tribes succeeded and subsequently declined. Dao Zhu Hongjun defeated Mo Zhu Luo Gui and was the first to obtain the opportunity to become a saint. He preached the Dao twice in the Zixiao Palace, and the first time it was rumored that the Xian Men Dao was true. However, Dao Zhu Hongjun briefly explained his own cultivation of the Dao and officially divided the various levels of cultivation. Listening to this Dharma and adding cultivation can be called the authentic Xian Men sect. The second transmission of the Golden Immortal and Taiyi method was to gather the five qi in the chest, open the top with three flowers, and prove that it can enjoy unlimited longevity and immortality. The third time I want to talk about it now is about the Dharma of Dalai Lama and becoming holy. The threshold for preaching three times is getting higher and higher each time. If you can cross the chaos on the Xianmen Avenue, you can enter the Zixiao Palace to listen to the teachings. Although you must be able to break through the chaos and void with the help of the Golden Immortal, at least it is not explicitly stated that you cannot enter unless you are a Golden Immortal. If you have friends to support you, you also have the opportunity to enter the Zixiao Palace. Therefore, there is a saying that there are 3,000 guests in the Zixiao Palace. 3,000 is just an empty finger, perhaps more than 3,000 creatures come to listen. After the first sermon of Hongjun Daozu, the level of the creatures in the flood and wilderness suddenly improved by a large margin. In the past, there were also those with advanced cultivation in the flood and wilderness, but most of them were innate gifts. However, because the first batch of creatures in the flood and wilderness were mostly evolved after the death of three thousand gods and demons in the chaos, although they had strong strength, they did not know where this strength came from. Only those who practiced instinctively, and the cultivation methods left by these chaotic demon gods were no longer suitable for the current flood and wilderness era, Hongjun Daozu's preaching directly increased the activity level of heaven and earth creatures by a large margin. The second preaching directly set a hidden threshold, conveying the method of gathering the five chi in the chest and spreading the three flowers on the top. If the cultivation level is not enough, it is not inspiring to listen to it, but if the cultivation level is reached, it is equivalent to directly pointing out the path ahead. Therefore, after the second preaching, a large number of postnatal, great abilities, have been added to the vast and desolate creatures. But now it is time to preach at the Zixiao Palace for the third time, and the threshold is set at the Taiyi realm. Yang Lei's heart hurts so much, others don't know, he doesn't know yet. When he preached for the third time that Zhu Hongjun used Fenbao Rock to release innate spiritual treasures, even if he couldn't seize the opportunity to become a saint, it would be a good thing if he could make some innate spiritual treasures. But unfortunately, the Taiyi immortal family is not even an immortal now. Ah! With a long sigh, Yang Lei was somewhat moved by the difficulty of the times. After the Taoist ancestor finished speaking, it was almost time for the lich demons to compete for power. If he still couldn't transform, he would have been unable to escape the fate of being chopped off as a spiritual material. Taking a deep breath of spiritual energy, Yang Lei worked even harder to carry it. 
A hundred years may be said to be long or short, but it passes in a blink of an eye. Yang Lei, however, was extremely distressed. As he constantly exhaled spiritual energy, he could clearly feel that he had become stronger and had more power to mobilize. However, compared to the accumulated spiritual energy, there were very few spiritual energies that could be used. And because of the accumulation of these spiritual energies, his body became even more cumbersome, which meant that he wanted to refine the difficulties that his body lacked. Transforming into a form and running away became an endless task. However, if he did not exhale, it would undoubtedly be a chronic death. Today, from the sky. A hundred years have passed, and I, Hong Jun, have passed on the teachings of the Great Dharma Gate to all sentient beings, teaching the method of becoming a saint. Daozu, Daozu Grandpa, Hong Jun Grandpa, can you make some noise? I want to transform myself. Yang Lei shouted loudly, his limbs swaying uncontrollably. At this moment, the Zixiao Palace slowly closed its door. Starting from today, I will talk about the Dharma of Dalai Lama for three hundred years. The voice of Hong Jun Daozu came from the Purple Sky Palace like the sound of Hong Zhong and Dalu. Then, the empty chamber inside the palace and the nearby void outside the palace were filled with colorful flowers and golden lotus flowers, as if it had become an ocean of Dao Yun. If one could have some understanding, it would undoubtedly be a huge improvement for oneself. And in the midst of the vast land, Yang Lei could also hear a mysterious sound. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net couldn't explain what it was, but it involuntarily led people to immerse themselves in that melody. Hong Jun frowned in the Zixiao Palace, then spoke the truth continuously, but his mind moved. In an instant, he understood the reason behind it, but it was the awakening of his innate divine power by a poplar tree in the wilderness. Because his mind was there, it had been attached to the Zixiao Palace before its closure. He intended to screen the six senses of the poplar tree and punish him again, but he also calculated the unbearable words of his spiritual ancestors and Hong Jun grandpa. Anyway, it's just a matter of fate, so I won't care about him anymore. The Luo, on the other hand, means everything, and the three thousand great roads are all contained within it. Although Yang Lei only heard a few lingering sounds of the road on the vast land, it was far better than him pondering for thousands or even thousands of years on his own. It seems that after three or five days, Yang Lei emerged from this state of obsession. However, he didn't want to hear it anymore, and now listening to this mysterious voice is extremely uncomfortable for no reason. It was like this three days ago, but after persisting for three days, he can no longer persist. Now, when he wants to sink down and listen, he has never heard that mysterious voice again. From this moment on, the guests in the Zixiao Palace just smiled. The teacher's previous words seemed a bit simpler, of course, they were also incredibly mysterious, but they were actually inferior to the current De Luo Miao F.A. The method of transformation and rebirth has been achieved, just called the Grass and Wood Transformation Chapter. Although he felt a bit regretful and detached from that mysterious state, Yang Lei also knew that opportunity could not be forced. However, there was a precedent of, the law does not spread to the six ears, but he didn't know that he almost became such a precedent himself. In addition, I have also updated and upgraded my basic cultivation methods, and have come up with a more reliable cultivation method. Being able to cultivate to the realm of Xianxian can be said to be a fruitful achievement. Chapter 2 Innate Spirits, Transforming Plants and Trees Chapter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Where is my accumulated mana? How could I lose two dot thirds of my mana? Yang Lei, immersed in joy, was naturally not aware of the many coincidences that had benefited him, but when he came to his senses, he found that his accumulated mana had decreased by two dot thirds. Yes, the profound and profound lingering sound of Dao Yun not only brought Yang Lei the grass and wood transformation chapter, and the cultivable techniques, but also gave him a clearer understanding of the system of cultivation. The spiritual machine that floats in the air is spiritual energy, but it is not inferior to Yang Lei's own thinking. After absorbing it through the method, 
it becomes a force that he can drive and becomes magic. However, magic is an important criterion for measuring the progress of a living being's cultivation. Because the previous qi cultivation methods were rough, the quality of the mana accumulated by Yang Lei over the years was relatively poor. If he were to refine again based on the newly acquired methods, it would be more than enough to retain half of the stock. It is precisely because the mana is too rough, coupled with Yang Lei's rough qi cultivation methods, that Yang Lei has become increasingly bulky over the years, and the amount of mana he can wield is also very small. But according to reason, Yang Lei should have sorted out his immortality long ago. After all, he is in this spiritual cave treasure land, where innate spiritual energy is particularly strong. In simple terms, if he puts a pig here, he should also become an immortal in three to five years. And Yang Lei's failure to become an immortal is truly unbelievable. Returning to the divine, Yang Lei found that his own magical power was two dot thirds less. According to his estimation, if his magical power, which had been cultivated for so many years, was further refined according to the new method, and after the second refinement, he could break through the realm of Xianxian. It would be a matter of pinching his hands, and he might even be able to explore the path of true immortality. But now there is only one dot third left. Becoming an immortal is not a problem, but breaking through the realm of Xianxian is hanging. It is quite easy to restore the corresponding mana with corresponding levels. For example, a Xianxian spent half of his mana in a big battle, but it won't be long to restore this loss. However, if a spirit monster that has not yet reached the immortal level were to accumulate half of his mana, the unit might need to be counted in years, while Yang Lei is in this situation. Feeling the changes in himself carefully, Yang Lei suddenly realized that he had become much smarter. After a moment of calmness, he suddenly realized that he could hear a lot more. Upon further reflection, he developed an additional skill, but the effect was similar to what he had described earlier. He could hear more, farther, and finer sounds in his daily life, and even use his magic to actively listen to more sounds, which was his innate ability. Originally, awakening innate powers was a good thing, but unfortunately, Yang Lei couldn't be happy. The reason why innate beings are called innate beings is because they all have an innate and indestructible spiritual light. The innate and indestructible spiritual light creates countless things, and can be said to be able to nurture all illusory possibilities into reality and achieve supreme divine powers, like the five-colored divine light of Kong Xian and the yin and yang energy of the Deping bird. Generally speaking, the larger the innate heel, the thicker the innate and indestructible spiritual light it possesses. The stronger the innate divine power that nature can comprehend, and the greater the possibility of comprehending various innate divine powers. Like Yang Lei, with a barely innate spiritual root, there is naturally only a barely innate indestructible spiritual light, and the innate supernatural powers that can be generated are naturally barely visible. As for comprehending multiple innate supernatural powers, it is also impossible. But this realization of a seemingly unbeatable divine power really made Yang Lei feel a bit uncomfortable. Upon careful recollection of the details, it turned out that it was the tiny bit of innate indestructible spiritual light from one's own family that felt a strong desire to listen to the teachings of Hong Jun Daozu. Coincidentally, one had a little ability to make Yang Lei listen more, and naturally evolved this, audible, divine ability. The two dot thirds of one's own lost magical power was precisely the consumption of this divine ability caused by these heavenly fortunes. Is it really thanks to this divine skill? Without this divine power, there would be no, grass and wood transformation chapter, without this new cultivation method, wouldn't it? It's always a good thing. After all, Yang Lei was powerless to change what had already happened, and could only choose to slowly accept it. By the way, he gave this innate skill an elegant name, listening to the wind whispering. Since we have obtained the method, we naturally need to put our own rebirth transformation on the agenda as soon as possible, break free from the constraints of this tree body, and face danger with more choices. There are two ways to transform plants and trees. One way is to condense an incarnation-like existence without affecting the main body, 
using divine powers to transform the incarnation into the ID. Even if the main body is destroyed, the incarnation that has already become the ID will only suffer serious injuries and will not die. Similarly, even if the incarnation is destroyed, it can still recondense on the main body. Although the consciousness of the ID will dissipate at this time, it will not die on its own. There are many benefits to doing so, such as the main body can absorb spiritual energy and nutrients from heaven and earth, which is equivalent to two bodies practicing at the same time, doubling the cultivation speed. However, the disadvantage is also very obvious, which is that the main body should not be moved lightly, as movement can affect the ID that comes out of the incarnation. If the main body is destroyed and hit, the possibility of the ID that comes out of the incarnation being seriously injured, not to mention further on the path, is also eliminated. This method can help plants and monsters become immortals faster, while leaving a way out. However, after completing their cultivation, their body and body are a fatal flaw. Even if they are as strong as the Zenyuanzi Great Immortal, they can only build a five villages temple and usually act as otaku to ensure safety. Yang Lei had long wanted to break free from the constraints of the trunk of this poplar tree, so he naturally wouldn't use this method to transform it. That's the second method of transformation. Using the main body as the body, severing the connection between plants and the earth, and refining the body into a body, the consciousness produced becomes a divine soul, transforming into form. In practical terms, the transformation of plants and monsters in this way has already separated from the genus of plants and trees. Therefore, from then on, we no longer enjoy the blessings of plants and the clock of heaven and earth. For example, as long as the innate spiritual roots are not extinguished and the spiritual light is not extinguished, it is eternal. However, if we follow this method of transformation, becoming immortals will enjoy a lifespan of 12,800 years, and the mysterious immortals will receive a one yuan meeting, and if their lifespan is exhausted, they will perish. The higher the cultivation level of this method, the more difficult it becomes to operate, just like a person cannot lift themselves up. The transformation of grass and wood spirits in this way is undoubtedly a refinement of themselves. However, the grass and wood transformation chapter is a way to turn the impossible into possible. But if one's cultivation level is too high, the difficulty of refining naturally increases, and this may decrease in a cliff-like manner. Generally speaking, after grass, wood, and spirit become immortals, the possibility of using this method to transform is less than 10%. Moreover, the years required for plants and trees to generate self-awareness are often long. Originally, plants and trees may still have a long way to live. If we follow this method of transformation, it is unlikely that Shouyuan will directly exceed the budget and be expelled from the world. Therefore, overall, the transformation of plants and trees into spirits and monsters in the world is mostly in the first way, as it is difficult to escape the constraints of the body. Therefore, the hardships experienced by plants and trees to achieve enlightenment are far greater than those of ordinary beings. Upon careful reflection of the grass and wood transformation chapter, Yang Lei couldn't help but feel a little fortunate. Fortunately, he had not yet become an immortal. Looking at the cultivation methods he had comprehended, it turned out that it was not because he could not become an immortal, but because of his obsession with the transformation of reincarnation, it affected the completeness of his Tao heart. As a result, those who should have become immortals long ago have been unable to become immortals for a long time. Transforming, Transforming Chapter 3 Transformation and Immortality You are listening at NovelFull.audio Since the difficulty of transformation will sharply increase after becoming an immortal, transformation has become an urgent matter. Yang Lei did not delay in comprehending this grass and wood transformation chapter. The first step in transformation is to control every part of one's body. Only in this way can transformation be perfect, and one will not transform into a human like those incompletely transformed animal spirits, but with a dog head and rabbit tail, retaining some of the characteristics of a beast. And Yang Lei is a tree. If it's not perfectly shaped, 
it's okay to say that the missing parts are the branches and leaves, but if there's still a part of the roots left in the soil, what should we say? Yang Lei still has complete control over most of the entire tree body, and some flawed areas don't require much effort. The main problem lies in his own mana. Nowadays, Yang Lei has not yet become an immortal. Although two dot thirds of the remaining mana in his body has been lost, the remaining one dot third accumulated far exceeds that of an ordinary immortal. It is also fortunate that Yang Lei is a natural plant and wood body. If placed on an ordinary creature, he may have already exploded and died, but now it is necessary to purify these mana to reduce the burden. If after purification, he still cannot perfectly control his own mana, then he can only make necessary sacrifices. The newly comprehended qi cultivation method is much more efficient than the previous shallow methods. Yang Lei spent less than half a month purifying the magic in his body. As expected, even after purification, this magic still appeared huge, somewhat beyond Yang Lei's expectations. Just as the excess magic was about to dissipate, he felt waves coming from the mound where the treasure was nurtured, as if interested in Yang Lei's magic. In the spirit of not wasting, Yang Lei rushed out the uncontrollable magic from the air. Without paying attention to the reaction of the treasure anymore, Yang Lei directly entered the second step of transformation, operating the method and refining himself. This step is to peel off the body from the earth, and the process of peeling off is not a big deal. The key is the moment when the peeling off is not yet completed and the transformation is not yet complete. At that time, the feeling is like a fish leaving the water, and the grass and trees leaving the soil naturally become people leaving the oxygen. They will gradually lose control of their body. If the entire transformation process cannot be completed in time, the failure of transformation and returning to their original form is still a small matter. If the foundation is severely damaged, it will be fatal. The entire stripping process was smoother than imagined, but the discomfort after stripping the soil was even more intense than imagined. Fortunately, a dark yellow gas hit the mound that nurtured the treasure, allowing Yang Lei to pass through this section. Yang Lei knew that it was necessary to fight quickly and make a decision without delay. With the surge of magic, the transformation of plants and trees began to operate, and the entire innate poplar tree became mysterious. Originally, the transformation needed to be confirmed to form a certain image, but when it came to Yang Lei, it was simply omitted, and there was no need to consider transforming into a human form. The entire tree body gradually shrank, with mysterious runes flowing through it. Gradually, the branches on the tree body merged into the central trunk, evolving into a green ball as the runes flowed. Then, it seemed like a green liquid, but still maintained the shape of the ball. Slowly, the head and limbs extended, gradually forming a humanoid shape, and the delicate organs such as facial features were also slowly portrayed and formed, which couldn't help but make people marvel at the mysterious nature of this grass and wood transformation. At sunrise and sunset five times, a green figure appeared at the original position of the thin and weak willow tree, with green skin, green hair, and green pupils if the epidermis is broken, even the blood flowing out is green. It seemed that Yang Lei had felt his own green hair growing, and his magical power was floating. Taking advantage of the incomplete transformation, his body underwent subtle changes, and in an instant, he transformed from a young green man into a man over eight feet tall, with tender yellow skin, white teeth, black hair, and red flesh. However, he was not a human, but a natural Tao body, the most conducive to cultivation in the wilderness. I'm still me, so handsome. Yang Lei couldn't help but feel intoxicated as he transformed into a human. The legend of the innate Tao body is based on the appearance of the great god Pangu. It is rumored that it is not true or false, but it is indeed the most beneficial form for cultivation in the vast wilderness. Even true dragons and phoenixes have their own innate Tao body changes. After the successful transformation, Yang Lei also comprehended a transformation method of the Xian Shu true body, which was not a significant change, but could make Yang Lei look like a poplar tree. As Yang Lei moved his limbs, he was satisfied for a moment and slowly walked towards the mysterious mound. 
Little guy, thank you so much this time, he said I don't know if the magic he unleashed had an effect, creating a faint connection between Yang Lei and the treasures in the mound. However, inside the mound, there was a spiritual treasure with earthy attributes, and it was almost time to be born. Faced with Yang Lei's greetings, Ling Bao inside the mound showed no response, and Yang Lei didn't pay much attention. He sat cross-legged beside the mound. Now that it has transformed into a form, the next important thing is to become an immortal and increase one's own strength. Nowadays, the Hong Huang has only experienced the Dragon and Han catastrophe, and even the Three Qing Patriarch has not become a saint, and the ancient heavenly court has not been established yet. Therefore, there are not so many rules and regulations in the Hong Huang. Looking for the Shuyuan website www.jiaoshuyuan.com, what kind of heavenly calamity does not exist? The cultivation level is basically only related to magic. As long as the magic is in place and there is a corresponding method of breaking through the realm and practicing, one can break through. In this shady land of mountains, the most abundant spiritual energy is naturally found in the mound that nurtures spiritual treasures. Practicing next to this mound will naturally result in a larger amount of spiritual energy that can be swallowed, and the rate of accumulating magic will naturally be faster. It has to be said that the efficiency of this newly comprehended cultivation method in transporting magic is high. The daily effort of running it can withstand the more than a month's time of the previous shallow method so it shuts back and forth, disregarding the sun and moon, only about half a month's work, and the magic has reached the threshold of becoming an immortal. This time, Yang Lei had no worries in his heart. With the operation of the Dharma and the flow of magical power, endless spiritual energy from the mountains continuously poured into Yang Lei's body. In just three days of effort, he achieved immortality by floating one foot on the ground. According to the current statement, he obtained the fruit of the heavenly immortal way and enjoyed a lifespan of 12,800 years. But if viewed from the surface, at this moment, Yang Lei seemed no different from before, except for floating one foot on the ground and appearing slightly whiter. But this is a symbol of becoming immortal, and the body at this time is called the Immortal Wind and Cloud Body, abbreviated as the Immortal Body. The cultivation of the authentic method of the Xianmen sect involves extracting the clear qi from the sky, which is then refined into magical power. When becoming an immortal, one is infused with the clear qi and becomes an immortal. Apart from the improvement in physical strength and other aspects, the most important manifestation is that after becoming an immortal, one can freely soar into the air on the vast land and achieve flight under the support of the clear qi. Of course, this speed is extremely slow. If one wants to have practical value, they still need to learn the first or second escape techniques. Feeling the change in his body, Yang Lei was naturally overjoyed. In less than a month, he had completed what he had not been able to complete several times before. He couldn't help but feel that this vast world really requires luck. Chapter 4 I have been listening to the eight trigrams in the wilderness for three hundred years. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Becoming a fairy was somewhat exciting, but the excitement quickly dissipated. When is it now? It's the third time that Zixiao Palace has preached in the wilderness. Those who can leave their legends on the land of the wilderness are either already cold or have become great powers. But I am still a fairy and monster. What can a fairy do? In the future, I am not qualified to become a heavenly weapon in the heavenly court. It is an honor to become cannon fodder. Thinking of this, Yang Lei mustered up his enthusiasm. If he didn't practice at this moment, he would wait even longer. Due to the newly comprehended cultivation methods, Yang Lei's path of cultivation seemed particularly smooth. The heavenly immortal realm absorbed spiritual energy in converted magical power, with an efficiency more than ten times that of before becoming an immortal. One day of cultivation is equivalent to half a year of relying on a simple method of self-reflection for hundreds of years. After practicing so diligently for over thirty years, Yang Lei surprisingly broke through the realm of Xianxian. The speed at which Xianxian transforms his magical power is more than ten times that of Tianxian. 
After more than 200 years of cultivation, Xuanxian's magical power has gradually become more abundant, but it has not been perfect. Moreover, due to the lack of a complete cultivation system for the true immortal realm, Yang Lei only has a general concept of subsequent cultivation, so his cultivation in recent years has been somewhat difficult. After becoming a Xian Xian, the range of sounds that Feng Yin could hear expanded again. Without actively driving, he could hear small sounds from 300 miles away. If actively driving, even sounds from thousands of miles away could be clearly reflected in his mind. At the same time, he naturally understood the method of Mu Dun, which could transform into flowing light and freely travel between plants and trees. However, although the mountain shade was full of spiritual energy, only he had a lifetime of spirit and was once the only plant and tree. Although this method of Mu Dun was deeply imprinted in his mind, he did not have a chance to practice it. After transforming into a human form for nearly 300 years, Yang Lei stayed in this mountain shade. On this day, Yang Lei was systematically swallowing the spiritual energy around him, carrying the heavens and refining his magic. However, the mound in front of him slowly floated, with cracks constantly opening up, as if something was about to break through and emerge from it. Brother, it has been over 300 years, and you have finally been born. Do you know how I came through these 300 years? Seeing the commotion, Yang Lei was extremely excited. The treasure in this lump of dirt was finally about to be born. After staying indoors for over 300 years, he could finally go out and explore. It has to be said that the skill of Feng Yin is indeed quite powerful. Over the past 300 years, relying on this skill, Yang Lei has learned a lot of skills. For example, the uncrowned king of the mountains where this shady land is located, and the unique divine skill of Tiger Demon Yin Mountain in the realm of true immortality. Flying sand and moving stones, the dark water light technique mastered by the black water mysterious snake in the mysterious immortal realm of Shangxi Jiaxuetan, Shannon Xianxian Chicken Demon's unique sect. With a gulp of anger and a scolding. All of these were taught by Yang Lei, not to mention some ordinary flying, hiding, cloud moving, and lightning catching techniques of the Mountain Life Society, which greatly enriched Yang Lei's skills. It seems like there is no sense of confidentiality among the creatures in the mountains, and every time they practice their divine powers and methods, they will nag a few words. But it's actually not the case. Yang Lei's mountain stretches for hundreds of miles, and there are countless spirits and monsters in the mountain. However, Yang Lei can hear sounds ranging from a range of over a hundred miles in the heavenly immortal realm to a radius of three hundred miles in the current Xian immortal realm. There are also a few hundred to eight thousand living creatures living inside, including those who have achieved cultivation and the immortal position and fruit. Yang Lei can hear a lot more sounds. Although the immortal spirits may not seem to have much ability, they can awaken their spiritual intelligence. There are some divine powers passed down from their bloodline, even if one out of a thousand spirits cannot control them. Mouth-wise, there is so much that can be learned. Because he could hear many useful supernatural powers from time to time, Yang Lei did not control his ears. Anyway, naturally listening to those sounds did not consume any mana, while injecting mana to actively drive the supernatural powers only needed to listen to something useful to himself. Why not do so? There are many hidden things that Yang Lei has heard, but more of them are still those. Gossip. For example. It seems that Tiger Demon Yin Mountain is the king of the mountain, with 30.6 tiger empresses. Among them, the most beloved one is the White Jade Tiger, Tiger Jiao Jiao Jiao, which is really afraid of being damaged when held in the hand, afraid of being pressed in the arms. This tiger Jiao 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 is not weak, but also a mysterious immortal. However, she is the old father of Tong Yin Mountain and the former leader of the tiger clan in the mountain. Yin Chi has that leg, and even the son who is highly favored by Yin Mountain, the young genius of the tiger clan in the mountain, Yin Chu, is actually his brother that's not all, the black water mysterious snake in Shangxi Shui Tan is also a charming lover of tigers it seems like. Earlier, a great immortal came to the mountains to search for treasures. 
seeing that there was a daughter of the fox tribe in the mountains with good qualifications, he adopted her as an apprentice. A few years later, the daughter returned to the mountains. The eldest son, third son, and sixth son of the fox tribe leader, who looked water-spirited, competed fiercely. Finally, the fox tribe leader brought her into the cave. Not long after, the great immortal found her. It turned out that this girl had long been eaten and wiped clean by the immortal. Originally, she had a new love and gradually faded away. Unexpectedly, her new love was taken away by the greater power. Now, seeing her old lover being taken away by someone again, the combination of new and old grudges extinguished the once largest tribe in the mountain, the Fox Tribe. Now, the Fox Tribe in the mountain respects the former Hu Lao Lu and is occasionally secretly abducted by the tiger Jiao Jiao to replenish it. Zhaoshuyuan.com also. But I saw the cracks spreading from the mound gradually expanding and spreading towards the outer edge of the mountain. If I let them continue to develop, the natural formation formed by the mountains, rivers, and earth veins may be broken. At that time, the energy of this spiritual treasure will leak out, not only will I not get this treasure, but I will also be uncertain whether I can save my own life. Brother, please take it easy, take it easy. I can't control this big commotion. If we let someone else catch the commotion, our fate will end here. For a moment, Yang Lei couldn't stop the crack from expanding, so he could only stand on the side and howl. Fortunately, the Lingbao under the mound seemed to have heard Yang Lei's call. The crack no longer widened, and soon three stones of similar size appeared above the mound, floating in mid-air, emitting a light yellow light. Yang Lei's mind moved and he waved towards these three stones, and the stone appeared in his hand. Yang Lei smiled knowingly. Since I am already a poplar tree, naturally there are still three stones left. This baby should be obtained by me. However, Yang Lei soon discovered that the spiritual energy of the mountain Yin was gradually fading, and the mysterious and mysterious atmosphere that had originally enveloped the entire mountain Yin valley was slowly dissipating. Not good, this natural innate formation was born to nurture this spiritual treasure. Now that the spiritual treasure is born, the formation has no eye. Even if the formation has not changed, the mystery inside will naturally gradually dissipate. As soon as the formation dissipates, the spiritual energy in the mountains will inevitably dissipate, and the essence of the spiritual energy emanating from the mountain shade can naturally be felt outside. Someone will surely come to find it at that time. It's important to run away. A magical force wrapped around the stone in hand, incorporated it into the body, and then transformed into a stream of light, escaping towards the north. Chapter 5 Joining the Demon Clan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Yang Lei's reaction speed was already extremely fast, but he never expected that this speed of escaping light would affect Yang Lei's running time. As Yang Lei was about to leave this shady place, a burly man with a big cat face stood in front of him, holding a yellow cloud. Do you have the opportunity to leave in such a hurry, Taoist friends? It seems like it's not good to just leave like this. Yang Lei gave a thud and looked at the person in front of him, but it was somewhat difficult to figure out. However, it was not the kind of invincible existence. Those who could arrive here so quickly must be local creatures in the mountains, and there was only the tiger demon Yin Mountain in this mountain range. Prince Yin Shan is polite now, I am Yang Lei. Oh. Do you recognize this king? Yin Shan was surprised. Although he was the highest cultivation person in the mountain, he was only a true immortal after all. He may have some fame in the surrounding area for a few hundred miles, but if he were even further away, he would be nothing. However, the person in front of him had a cultivation level of a mysterious immortal, but he didn't have any impression of himself. As an outsider demon, it's hard not to believe that this king's reputation is bigger than imagined. The great king's divine power is something that no one knows, Yang Lei complimented. Yin Shan felt a bit ethereal, but still asked, Don't talk like this, Taoist friend. Come quickly, but if you take my treasure from the mountain, 
for the sake of Taoist friend's sincerity, obediently take the treasure you have obtained, and I will let you go. But the king misunderstood. What treasures can there be in this mountain? If there is something good, can it still deceive your eyes? Yang Lei quickly explained. That's true. Yin Shan nodded in agreement with Yang Lei's statement. If it weren't for a remote and impoverished place, how could he once again dominate? However, on second thought, if it weren't for some treasure, how could there have been such a big commotion? Don't deceive me. If you don't have any treasure, what are you doing here? Look at that shady mountain land, it's been tossed around like this. Hurry up and bring the treasure, otherwise I'll make you look good. Yin Shan's voice suddenly increased, his eyes widened, and he really had a bit of dignity. Yang Lei turned his head and smiled apologetically, I dare not deceive the king. The noise in the mountain is indeed caused here. Humph. What are you fussing about? If you don't bring the treasure quickly, won't you really want me to take action? The king was joking, but this commotion was caused by me, but there's really no treasure. Yin Shan's eyes widened, and suddenly he had a large earthy yellow sword in his hand. Yang Lei hurriedly said, I was originally a poplar tree in the shade of the mountain, and I have been practicing hard for many years. Today, I was able to transform successfully. Because the commotion has become more intense, I'm afraid it will make the living beings in the mountain unhappy. Therefore, I wanted to leave first to avoid the wind. I never expected the king to escape so quickly. Upon hearing this, Yin Shan closed his eyes and pondered for a moment. Not bad, there was indeed a poplar tree growing in this shady valley. Then he carefully looked at Yang Lei and said, but now the poplar trees in the shady mountains are gone. It is precisely from the bottom that it emerges. Can even grass and wood monsters escape? Yin Shan looked at Yang Lei with some confusion, seeming extremely skeptical of what he had said. Is it true that there are no plants or trees in the mountains that have escaped from their bodies? I have a shallow understanding, but I hope the king can help me solve my doubts. After speaking, I looked at Yin Mountain with a thirst for knowledge. Cough, but not at all. I was also very surprised when I heard what you said. Faced with Yang Lei's curious gaze, Yin Shan couldn't help but admit that he had never seen it before. Wang, wait and see. After speaking, Yang Lei fell into an open space and used his Xian Shu true form to transform into the shape of a poplar tree, converging his previous weather machine. Although it looked a bit divine, there was nothing special about it. Eh. This is not inferior to the poplar trees in the mountains. This time, Yin Shan trusted Yang Lei. Don't blame me, Dao Yu, but I misunderstood. I don't know what your plans are in the future. Looking at Yin Shan, his eyes seemed to be quite eager for Yang Lei. Having lived in the mountains for countless years, now I want to go out for a walk. How can we compare to staying in this mountain when we go out of town? Now that the conflict between our beings and the witch tribe is gradually arising, our cultivation is in the wasteland, and there are many dangers. After finishing speaking, he said, to be honest, a few days ago, an envoy from the White Zay tribe of the Demon tribe came to my mountain and wanted to appoint me as the overall commander of the Demon army. My Taoist friend also has the cultivation of Xianxian, so if I stay in the mountain, when the envoy comes back, I will be appointed as the general. I will then appoint my Taoist friend as the colonel. We are waiting in this mountain, and with the help of the Demon tribe, we can share wealth and prosperity. Isn't it beautiful? Looking at Yang Lei again, Yin Shan said again, I also have a sincere word with my younger brother. The envoy of the White Zay tribe has the same conditions for me to be appointed as the general manager, but I want to join the demon clan with five Xianxian Dao friends. Now there are only a few Xianxian Dao friends in the mountain. I have already found four people, but there is still one person missing. However, my brother is not good at dealing with that black water Xian snake. Such a matter of wealth and prosperity, how can he be brought in? The Dao friends have now formed, but they have solved my troubles. Yang Lei felt speechless in his heart. 
Tiger brother, tiger lord, if you don't deal with the black water Shen snake, it would be a pity not to invite him into the gang. The lich demon war, is this something that our little Shen Xian can touch? You really care for me, for your arch nemesis. Just as he was about to refuse, he saw a large cloud of black, green, and red flying from afar, with some monsters on top. The first person seemed somewhat out of place with the people around him, but there was a sense of panic, and it was clear that it was not an ordinary mountain and wild monster. Seeing the newcomer, Yin Shan spoke to Yang Lei and said, Friend Dao, don't just listen to me. Join the White Zay sect of the Demon Clan and let me know the Golden Immortal Secret Technique. At that time, I will share the secret scripture with you. Other benefits, as long as there is an old brother, I will definitely have my brother. I want to think about it carefully, but this is a good thing. I carefully weigh one and two things, the so dot called, blocking others into the Tao, not sharing the heavens. As a demon clan, I don't want to contribute to the clan. Even if I treat my brother lightly, the envoys of the White Zay sect may not let my brother be reckless. Xiao Wang Yin Shan, I have seen the White Yi demon god. After passing the message to Yang Lei, Yin Shan welcomed him towards the front. No need to be polite, Yin Shan. Have you completed the task assigned to you earlier? Returning to the demon god is naturally done. The four accompanying demon gods must have already known each other, but this is Yang Lei's friend whom I just invited. Today, he just transformed and the demon god came. It's not a coincidence, Yin Shan pointed to Yang Lei. The four of them were actually Yin Shan's beloved concubine, Tiger Jiao Jiao, Chicken Demon Yu Chen, Yin Shan's father Yin Qi, and Eagle Monster Cheng Fengzi. I, Yang Lei, have seen the demon god Bai Yi. Yang Lei hurriedly said as he looked at Bai Ye's gaze. Oh. I asked you, did you voluntarily join my demon tribe? We, the plants and monsters, are born to be demons. There is no such thing as voluntariness or unwillingness. It is our duty to seek help from Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com for our tribe, Yang Lei said in a righteous tone. It's rare for plants and trees to have a natural way of life. No wonder you have such a precious light on your body. It's not bad. The spiritual energy is scattered here, and I thought there might be some treasure born. I never thought it was you who transformed and damaged the mountain terrain here. Bai Yi nodded and then said to Yin Shan, since that's the case, on behalf of Emperor Jun and His Majesty Tai Yi, I will appoint Yin Shan as the commander-in-chief of the Peach Blossom Mountain Army of our demon tribe, Hu Jiao Jiao, Yu Chen, Yin Qi, Chang Fengzi, Yang Lei, and others as the colonel of the Peach Blossom Mountain Army. After speaking, I took out a golden book and jade book, which looked like a precious treasure. Each of you infiltrates one of the magical powers. But seeing Yin Mountain, Tiger Jiao Jiao Jiao, Yu Chen, Yin Qi, and Chang Fengzi, the five of them successively injected a magical power. Yang Lei had no choice but to know that he couldn't escape and immediately split out a magical power to penetrate into it. Bai Yi nodded in satisfaction, then took out a piece of white jade gui and transformed it into a golden light from the golden book and jade book. He then threw it at the six people with six flags, saying, This is the cultivation method that our clan's Emperor Jun, His Majesty Tai, and the ten major demon saints jointly promote and perform, which is suitable for our clan. However, there is a method that condenses the five energies and breaks through the golden immortal. This god has already injected your breath, and each of you six can understand it once. As for what you gain, it depends on your luck. These six are the six harmony hanging heavenly array, flag, and you rely on the formation. Train one demon army each and set up this large formation, which can defeat ordinary golden immortals, thank you very much, demon god. Everyone's eyes lit up and they all said. Well, I have something important to attend to, so I won't stay. Next time I come back, I will observe your formation. If I succeed, I will reward you. If I neglect, I will punish you severely. Yes. With a faint glance at the crowd, Bai Yi suddenly transformed into a hidden light and disappeared into the sky.
Chapter 6 Tiger Brother, Listen to My Little Brother's Words You are listening at NovelFull.audio Seeing the white ye demon god walking away, Yang Lei finally breathed a sigh of relief. The magical skill of listening to the wind whispering is really of practical value. Just now, Bai Yi, the demon god, murmured in a low voice from a long distance, the spiritual energy of this place is leaking out, but it seems like a treasure has emerged, causing damage to the original terrain. Is it difficult for me, Bai Yi, to find any other treasure after leaving the gate? Originally, Yang Lei didn't pay much attention to the threat from Yin Mountain, but the self-talk of Bai Yi demon god made Yang Lei panic. His body constantly wrapped the three stones with magic, preventing them from emitting any breath. At the same time, when facing Bai Ye's inquiry, Ong Lei expressed his position without hesitation at this time, the demon clan did not have the same cohesion as in the future which demon wars. It can be said that they were a clan, but in fact, the internal factional conflicts were extremely serious, divided into many demon tribes, and the reason for this is also related to the origin of the demon clan. What is a demon race? From the perspective of Emperor Jun and Tai, to put it bluntly, as long as a spiritual intelligence is born from an object in the vast land, theoretically it is a demon race. The reason why the demon race was established by Emperor Jun and Tai is partly due to their imperial path, which continues the path of the ancestral dragon, Phoenix ancestor, and Chilin ancestor to attain the holy throne, but subjectively, it is due to the opposition with the witch race. The Wu tribe is a group of twelve ancestral witches transformed from the twelve drops of essence and blood of the great god Pangu. They were created through the magical use of the ancestral witch hall and can be said to be descendants of Pangu. The Wu tribe is also flesh and blood creatures, and there are also ordinary witches in the tribe. However, flesh and blood creatures have to eat. What they eat is the vast expanse of things, and what is this vast expanse of things? That's the demon. Because witches eat demons, they are in opposition, but there are also battles within the demon race, such as tigers eating sheep, which is natural. As a result, there are also various factions within the demon race. Fortunately, Emperor Jun and Taiyi are born emperors, and under their leadership, the interior of the demon race has been shifted to external conflicts with the witch race. Nowadays, the contradictions between the two races are like burning oil. Emperor Jun and Taiyi, one or two emperors, have to face the twelve ancestral witches. Although there are no opponents under the Hong Jun of the Hong Huang Taiyi Emperor, they are still difficult to defeat with two fists and four hands. In the continuous proliferation of the witch race, at the same time, the demon race is also constantly expanding and raising their heads. Since we want to attract people, we naturally need to pay attention to our own image. Not to mention anything else, at this time, the demon tribe has not yet occupied the heavenly court, and has not even been discovered. It has not yet reached the demon-controlled sky, and is like a witch-controlled land. In the world of the flood and wilderness, the trend is flourishing. If living beings do not want to join the demon tribe, it does not mean that there are many powerful forces on the surface that can be used as a way out. For example, the dragon tribe still occupies the four seas, the phoenix retreats to the undead volcano in the south, the male immortal power of the eastern prince on Penglai Immortal Island, and the female immortal power of the western queen on Kunlun Mountain in addition, there are many demon tribes in the demon tribe. Even if we want to join the demon tribe, we don't necessarily have to join your base tribe. Can't we join the ghost car tribe? Therefore, Yang Lei made the decision without hesitation to join the demon tribe. For no reason, just to save his treasure and life. Although it cannot be guaranteed that even if he wants to join the demon tribe, Bai Yi will still dig deeper into the reasons behind it, at least the possibility of Bai Yi losing face will increase significantly. Yang Lei cannot afford to gamble, even if it is to add a little more possibility, it has to be done. Bai Yi walked away, and Yang Lei truly breathed a sigh of relief. Looking at the formation flag in his hand and the white jade gui in Yin Shan's hand, the situation was not as bad as he had imagined. Listening to the wind singing is not as bad as I thought. 
In the midst of the chaos, the most indispensable thing is the great ability. If you want to eavesdrop on someone else's movements, as long as they are aware of it, it is basically impossible to escape the fate of being caught. The great ability is not only about systematically searching for sound and catching people, but also about people calculating and calculating the secrets of the heavens. Then you will know everything. The only thing that can be prevented is to cover up the secrets of the heavens. But when conflicts arise, they are already great abilities that can cover up the secrets of the heavens. Is it necessary to eavesdrop on anything? If there is one, it is at least someone with stronger strength or greater ability than oneself. If you want to eavesdrop, you have already been discovered before you can cover up the mystery. The skill of listening to the wind is divided into two parts. Active and passive. The active part is actually the active driving skill, which is a way to accidentally get caught. However, when necessary, it is also possible to use this skill. In addition, there is the passive part that can enhance hearing, which is not just a little bit of reinforcement. Nowadays, all the movements within a 300-mile range of the Xianxian realm can enter his ears, and this divine skill can also actively filter out information. At the same time, it also has a short dot term memory function, which is quite divine. In other words, within a range of 300 miles, as long as it is a normal movement that is not masked, Yang Lei can know. And all the prompts given to him are actively filtered information. If there are some things that cannot be actively prompted, Yang Lei can still restore them from memory within three to five days to find what he wants. Ladies and gentlemen, this cultivation method will be comprehended by my supervisor first, and then passed on to you. How about that? Yin Shan chuckled. Everyone naturally had no objections, but the white Yi demon god said that he had infused everyone's magic, and one person could only comprehend once. That's it. I'll go back to my black tiger cliff and stay in seclusion for a while. After a while, the demon department will send some armor, so I'll trouble everyone. Hu Jiao Jiao and others left one after another, but Yin Shan stayed behind and said to Yang Lei. Young brother Yang, I noticed that you just took shape and didn't have a strong team. This place is only 50 miles away and will be designated as your own stronghold. Later, I will move some tribe members to come and recruit soldiers on your own. The white Yi demon god is not something we can fool. We still need to take this matter of rehearsing the military formation seriously. Yin Shan was quite interested and said to Yang Lei. Thank you so much, General. Ha ha ha, you're welcome, young brother. You've been very helpful to me today. Now that we are all demon clans, we should serve your majesty and support each other. Watching Yin Shan so carefree, as if he were also a well-planned master, Yang Lei suddenly had something to say. Seemingly sensing Yang Lei's change, Yin Shan said directly, Brother Yang, what do you have to say? Since it's all visible, Yang Lei has to say that some gossip is really inappropriate. Brother Hu, please listen to my words. Just now when Yang Lei said these few words, he couldn't say anything. He couldn't find any gossip in front of the main owner of the book garden www.chaoshuyuan.com. If there was, it had to be a relationship that couldn't be better. He asked himself, is his relationship with Yin Shan good? As soon as she spoke these words, as soon as Yin Shan returned, Hu Jiao Jiao cried and couldn't guarantee that she would immediately come knocking on her door to settle accounts with her, accusing her of instigating a few things. Yin Shan was waiting when he didn't expect Yang Lei's words to come to an end but he didn't say anything. He immediately asked, brother, it's okay to say it. Yang Lei turned his head and said, Now that we have all surrendered to the White Zay tribe, there is only the Black Water Xian snake remaining in the mountains who has not joined the gang. I heard that my elder brother is not dealing with this Black Water Xian snake. It's better to strike while the iron is hot. Today, we gathered everyone to think of getting rid of this Black Water Xian snake to avoid future troubles. If you go to attack the black water mysterious snake, you may be able to expose some of the tiger's delicate melons, and then you will have to say something more convincing. What my younger brother said has some truth, 
but although the Blackwater Xian Snake is only the Xian Immortal, it is backed by the Cold Pond. We are all creatures on land, and we are not skilled in water battles. I have not fought against him once or twice, nor have we been smooth in autumn. Once we fall behind, we will retreat back into the cold pond, which is very annoying. When we understand this secret method and improve our strength, we can use a large formation to trap him and ensure that we are safe and sound. Yin Shan did not notice anything wrong with Yang Lei, so he said. I'm not good at water warfare, I think Tiger Jiao Jiao is quite good at water warfare, Tiger Brother's words are absolutely right, it's still my little brother's oversight. The topic shifted, and the head of the household also thought it was okay, so Yang Lei naturally enjoyed himself. Yin Shan felt a bit skeptical when he saw Yang Lei's straightforward agreement, but in the end, he still didn't think of anything. That's it, I'll go too. Tiger brother, take your time. Yang Lei breathed a long sigh of relief as he saw Yin Shan leave. Chapter 7 Three Talent Stone you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Shaking the blue flag in his hand, Yang Lei smiled and returned to his own mountain nest. The spiritual treasure nurtured in the mountains has been born, and the innate formation in this place has been shattered, but it is no longer as cold as before. There are many openings on the mountaintop, and sunlight is constantly shining in. From a scenic perspective, it is indeed a good thing, but now that spiritual energy is leaking out, it really makes Yang Lei unhappy. However, these are still secondary. The top priority now is to refine those three stones. Escaping into the mountain and opening a stone cave, Yang Lei used his magic power to continuously polish the forbidden stones. Day by day, after about March, Yang Lei had to stop his movements. It took three months of effort for Yang Lei to successfully refine each of the three stones into a forbidden one. However, when it came to refining the second forbidden one, all three stones showed no face, not to say there was no progress, but the progress was very slow. Based on this speed, it would take hundreds of years to refine the second forbidden one of the stones. However, there was not enough time for Yang Lei to pass the time, so he had to temporarily stop refining. Fortunately, after refining one forbidden one, he became the owner of this treasure. These three stones are called the Three Talents Stones. The three talents are heaven, earth, and human beings, but human beings are not what we mean. We mean people in a narrow sense, and among these three talents, people represent living beings. This treasure should also appear in a narrow sense to complete the three talents before it can come out of the world. However, Yang Lei's arrival in a sense promoted the birth of human beings, so this treasure can also be said to be born for Yang Lei. Therefore, Yang Lei's first prohibition of refining this treasure came very smoothly. But this treasure has nine innate forbidden lower grade spiritual treasures. When three stones are combined, it is far superior to ordinary intermediate grade spiritual treasures, comparable to ordinary upper grade innate treasures. Refining this treasure requires not only luck, but also an important factor in cultivation. Sankai stone is good at concealing breath and has the effect of concealing heavenly secrets. At the same time, it can comb the earth's veins and stabilize the mountains and horizontal mountains. It is an innate spiritual treasure that has not been refined normally, and its breath is extremely sensitive. With the distance of Baiyi demon god and his cultivation, if it were an ordinary spiritual treasure, it would have been discovered long ago. It took a few more days to refine and ban the flag of the formation. This flag is just an ordinary spiritual weapon, but when combined with the formation, the six flag formation can also be considered a spiritual treasure of the future world. Based on this, the six flag formation can gather the magic power of the various demons in the formation, condense the six flag formation sword energy, and each one is equivalent to a strike from the innate inferior magic weapon, the Six Flag Formation. Therefore, Bai Yetzai said that he can defeat ordinary golden immortals. On this day, Bai Yi was watching the wind in the mountains, taking the opportunity to see if there were any ways to repair the mountain shadow formation. 
Now, the spiritual energy concentration of this treasure land has dropped to about two dot thirds of its peak. It is feared that in a few years, this place will become no different from an ordinary place. Yang Lei did not expect it to return to its peak level, after all, the innate formation is rare. If it is damaged now, repairing it can maintain its current state, which is already very good. While pondering, a fragrant breeze suddenly blew in, and then a plump female demon appeared in front of Yang Lei, who was the delicate tiger. However, it can be seen that although Tiger Jiao Jiao has an ordinary appearance, her figure is definitely intriguing. The light yellow long skirt on her body failed to cover her charming collarbone, with a concave spot in the shallowness. Further down was the heaviness, and her waist-length hair was not too restrained. Whenever a gentle breeze blew, her long hair flew, and her slender long legs hid under the long skirt, but up was the astonishing curvature. Her graceful posture is used to describe her, it definitely doesn't add any moisture. I've seen Captain Yang. His voice was somewhat seductive. What's up with Tiger Dao Yu coming here? Yang Lei, however, showed little interest in this tiger's delicate appearance. Not to mention the male demons behind her, his transformed appearance also left Yang Lei with little thought. The delicate appearance of the tiger can be said to be perfect, except for the king-shaped stripe on the forehead. Overall, it is no different from a human and is extremely plump. There is no need to save on what should be expected. In the demon race, it can be considered a standard beauty, but Yang Lei is not good at it. Cluck, Captain Yang, don't you say so poorly. It's just that there's nothing to do. Can't I come and take a look? Hu Dao Yu is busy with affairs, how could he wander around without anything to do? Brother Yin should also leave the level now. If there is anything to do to delay, it's not good. You're really boring. That guy ordered some tribe members to come over, and I've already done it these days. A dog demon tribe in the north of the mountain, a mountain bear tribe in Shandong, and a sheep demon tribe at the foot of the mountain will come over these days. It's estimated that there will be around 2,000 demons. These three tribes don't live very well in the mountains, they don't have much strength. You have to take training the military formation seriously, that's a big deal. Hu Jiao Jiao didn't do anything out of line anymore, she said directly. Don't worry, Tiger Road friend. It's your job and you dare not delay. Cluck, Captain Yang doesn't invite me in to sit down. Hu Jiao Jiao reached out her left index finger and sucked on it, looking at Huang Yi's rudimentary cave. Cough. I've been busy sacrificing and refining the formation flag for the past three months, and I've never taken care of it before. I'm afraid I'll lose my etiquette, so I won't invite my friends in. I heard that some plants are hermaphroditic. Indeed, that's true. Yang Lei seemed to not understand the other meanings in Hu Jiao Jiao's words, affirming. Seeing Yang Lei still puzzled by his charm, Hu Jiao Jiao gave him a fair glance and said, since that's the case, why don't we stay here? It's right here. Yang Lei was shocked. Did he spend so much time playing at Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com? But I saw Tiger Jiao Jiao stretching her right hand into her chest before finishing his words, he saw a pocket made of an unknown material in Hu Jiao Jiao's hand. Later, he saw her magic infused into it, and Yang Lei saw armor and weapons one by one in front of her. Yang Xiao Wei, what are you saying? I didn't hear you clearly, Hu Jiao Jiao blinked her eyes and said to Yang Lei. He he he, Taoist friends, please be at your own convenience. Captain Yang still wants these weapons, but that's not possible. A few days ago, they were sent from above, and each of us, the five captains, had a thousand more, but we didn't have any more. However, I have a place nearby. If Captain Yang is interested, we can go there and discuss it in detail. Having one thousand copies is enough. That's it then, said Tiger Jiao Jiao, teasing her but in my heart, I was silently speechless towards Yang Lei. It was too boring. Let's go, let's go. I'm not wasting my time here anymore. 
Xiao He is still waiting for me. Take a slow walk, Taoist friend. Brother In Shan, you must keep an eye on yourself, mother. In. Law. Looking at the equipment in front of him, Yang Lei didn't pay much attention. However, some armor and long spears, which are ordinary spiritual weapons, can be used by young demons who have not yet become immortals. When they become immortals, the blades condensed with magic power are also similar to these spiritual energies. However, these standard equipment have one advantage. They can unify the aura, which is undoubtedly a great help for the army to deploy. Looking at these things, Yang Lei suddenly had inspiration. The dilapidation of this place was nothing more than the birth of the three talent stone that nurtured it. Without the object of suppressing the formation I, we don't need to breed treasures now. Looking for a local treasure to suppress and sort out the local chi should be able to restore the effect of gathering spiritual energy. The more you think, the more feasible it becomes, but where is this treasure going to be found? Chapter 8 Wutu Pearl, Chueyin Creek You are listening at Novel Full Audio. When it comes to treasures, there are indeed many in the vast land, but what Yang Lei can and can obtain is basically equivalent to none. Memories keep rolling in my mind, and this vast land is full of treasures. Not to mention the vast territory of Peach Blossom Mountain, even ordinary small hills cannot be without treasures. Found it. Yang Lei smiled knowingly. There is a purple soil cave about 200 miles away from Shangxi, where there is a dragon earthworm and a Taoist temple. 200 years ago, the purple soil cave gave birth to a Wutu pearl, which is a rare treasure of earth culture. It is formed by the intersection of innate Wutu Qi in the earth vein and the earth vein. The dragon earthworm was also an ordinary earthworm, making a living near the purple soil cave. Fortunately, it dug up the location of the Wutu pearl and became a fairy with its treasure. Because the dragon earthworm is an underground creature and proficient in the method of escaping, few people can do anything about it. In addition, he has always been low dot key, and this Wutu bead has never been discovered by outsiders. However, about 150 years ago, the dragon earthworm gave birth to a nest of small dragon earthworms. When teaching the small dragon earthworm, Yang Lei accidentally heard of this Wutu bead, but it didn't take it seriously. However, it is somewhat a treasure and has also been noticed. Now it happens to be in use. The dragon earthworm was deployed by the black water mysterious snake, but he didn't have any concerns about attacking him. However, on second thought, Yang Lei still concealed his breath and fled towards the west. In the place where Yang Lei had escaped, he could vaguely feel a trace of water vapor. The purple soil cave was not difficult to find, and soon Yang Lei appeared at the entrance. He heard the wind whispering magic activate, and at this moment, the dragon earthworm seemed to be searching for food. It was confirmed that there was no major movement coming from inside the cave, and Yang Lei transformed into a flowing light and fled into the cave. The best way to travel in this purple soil cave is naturally through Tu Dun, but inside is a dragon earthworm that is better at Tu Dun. Using Tu Dun is undoubtedly a way to scare the snake, so Yang Lei went straight down the cave entrance. About two miles down, there were many cave openings and the environment became exceptionally complex. However, it was not difficult to reach Yang Lei. Upon closer inspection, there was a faint sound of eating in the southeast corner. When eating in the dragon earthworm cave, it was naturally a small dragon earthworm. If you listen well to the location of the dragon earthworm's nest, then the Wutu bead should be inside the dragon earthworm's nest, nourishing it with the energy of the earth's veins and nurturing the small dragon earthworms. Dun Guang flew by, and soon he saw a huge nest. There were three dragon worms, about twenty zhang long, wriggling in it, eating what should have been collected minerals. On the left side of the nest, there was an alternative soil and rock that looked like tree roots. At the turning point of the soil and rock, there was a small earthen platform with yellow shiny beads on it. This soil and rock was the solid body of the earth vein. It seems that it is to rely on the earth veins to nourish this Wutu pearl. The dragon earthworms did not refine this pearl, 
and the scent of the earth dragon earthworms near the earth veins was much lighter, which saved a lot of trouble. Without any hesitation, Yang Lei turned into a stream of light and flew towards the Wutu Pearl. The three little dragon earthworms were not able to react and flew to the bead, but suddenly a light yellow light shield rose up, unable to stop Yang Lei, his magical power flowed, and a mysterious light came out of his hand. He broke the cover and directly took the Wutu Pearl. Without delay, he used the earth escape technique and flew towards the ground. Ah! Thieves, don't leave. A roar came from an unknown depth underground, and then a giant dragon earthworm, stretching for thousands of feet, turned into a stream of light and locked onto Yang Lei's direction in the soil, rushing towards him. It has to be said that dragon earthworm's earthly escape technique is truly remarkable. It is estimated that there is still a hundred Zhang left from the ground, and Dragon Earthworm has already caught up with Yang Lei. Yang Lei remained calm and composed. Not to mention that this Dragon Earthworm was just a fairyland, he was nothing to be afraid of as a mysterious immortal. Even if the Dragon Earthworm was evenly matched with him, what would happen? Up. But Yang Lei shouted a spell in his mouth, and then a light blue dark light flashed out of his hand. The cold light filled him, as if he was about to freeze the soil layer, and he hit the dragon earthworm straight. Ah! Without time to dodge, a section of the dragon earthworm's body was frozen, but its escape light was broken and stopped in the soil layer. Xian Chue Light Technique Who are you? A hint of fear flashed in Long Earthworm's mind, making him think of the person not far away in the cold pool. However, Yang Lei ignored him and kept evading the light, breaking through the soil layer. Then, he flew towards the cold pool where the black water Xian snake was located, not close to the cold pool. Three or five miles away from the cold pool, Yang Lei's breath changed and he slowly flew back to his hometown from the air. At this moment, the frozen dragon earthworm finally regained its strength, driving its magic and melting the mysterious ice on its body. Faced with this mystical water light technique, he was full of fear. Otherwise, he would not have succumbed to the tyranny of the black water mystical snake for hundreds of years. However, his precious treasure was lost, and he naturally felt extremely unwilling. Searching for the residual magical aura in the air, the dragon earthworm tracked him to the vicinity of the cold pool, and he dared not approach it. Only the big head of his mouth showed an extremely angry expression at this moment. There are also many cunning people in the demon tribe, but it seems that this dragon earthworm is not. Returning to his hometown, Yang Lei carefully examined the Wu Tu Zhu in their hands. This Wu Tu Zhu was made up of a strand of innate Wu Tu Qi mixed with the Qi of the earth veins. If it were in a famous mountain and treasure land with abundant earth Qi, it would be possible to conceive a few more Yuan Hui and become an innate spiritual treasure. However, now there are only a few innate spiritual materials. If they were combined with good ingredients, it would be easy to refine them, and it is possible to produce a spiritual treasure of the future world. However, Yang Lei has no other spiritual materials and cannot refine tools, so this spiritual treasure has no connection with him. Feeling the mystery behind it, I have to lament that this innate thing is indeed mysterious. It is not like the three talent stone that Yang Lei can only comprehend a superficial understanding. Yang Lei has seen the mysteries of this Wutu pearl for a long time. I hope that the dragon earthworm is not ignorant of the current situation. If it comes after me, it will not be blamed for taking your treasure and taking your life. Sacrificing his magic, Yang Lei sharpened the Wutu bead not for anything but to see if there were any dragon earthworms left behind in the bead. Upon careful examination, he found that he was overthinking it. Then, he used his strength to lift the Wutu bead and slowly sank it into the soil pit that gave birth to the Sankai stone. Taking inspiration, I felt the slowly dissipating energy of the nine underground veins. I sorted them out and attached them to the Wutu Zhu, then transported the soil and stones to fill the soil pit in this area. It's not that Yang Lei doesn't want to do anything more, but he doesn't know how to do it. He can only rely on me to regulate the Wutu Pearl. Even if it doesn't work out, 
he can still retrieve the Wutu Pearl, which is not a loss. There really were those first and second effects, and Yang Lei clearly felt that the chaotic earth meridian energy in this area was gradually improving, and there were signs of the surrounding spiritual energy slowly gathering. Since it had an effect, Yang Lei began to use his magic to move and fill a cracked hole at the mountain peak, restoring it to its original appearance. However, as soon as the mountain was repaired, a stream of water leaked from the top closest to the buried Wutu Pearl, flowing down continuously. Blocking the flowing water, another crack opened at the entrance of the mountain peak, and it kept going back and forth. Indeed, it is not within one's own ability to construct innate momentum through nurture. With a sudden thought, the three-talent stone was thrown away, and all the talents of heaven, earth, and humanity benefited, so I no longer cared about this flowing water. Feeling the gradually gathering spiritual energy, this place is still suitable for long-term living. But he should give his cave a name. Looking at the water flowing through the clouds in the mountains, Yang Lei felt certain that the place name needed to be more elegant, so it was called Chue Yinjian. The cave was simpler, like wooden and stone dwelling. Chapter 9 Sheep, Dog, and Bear Part 3, End of the Third Zixiao Palace Lecture You are listening at NovelFull.audio The precious treasure was lost in pain, and the dragon earthworms in the purple soil cave caused a commotion. Several mountains were overturned by it, but it was only when the black water mysterious snake came forward that it stopped the dragon earthworms from making further noise. After three days like this, the spiritual energy in Chueyin Creek gradually stabilized, reaching almost three dot quarters of the previous level. The stream flowing down from the mountains also transformed from ordinary water into spiritual energy water, and the entire mountain stream was not as lifeless as before, but constantly growing with vegetation. The changes in the heavenly way are indeed endless, and everything cannot be too perfect. Feeling the changes in the mountain stream, Yang Lei couldn't help but sigh. The water from the mountain stream was converted into spiritual water, and Yang Lei naturally wouldn't waste it. He spent some effort digging a pond and finding some spiritual lotus roots to plant in the pond, which was quite interesting. As he was busy living, suddenly a voice came. Little sheep merchant Yin asked to see Captain Yang. Yang Lei's mind twitched, and then he appeared at the entrance of the mountain stream. When he saw Yang Lei, the old man hurriedly said, Little sheep merchant Yin pays his respects to the colonel. Are you the one arranged by General Yin Shan to come to my subordinates? Little sheep, he said later, reported to the colonel that there are 1,165 members of the lower tribe, among whom little sheep has obtained the fruit of the immortal family road. There are 761 strong members in the tribe, but they are arranged by the colonel. Yang Lei nodded and said, There is a grassland ten miles south of this place with abundant water and grass. Please settle down there first, and the specific arrangements will be discussed in a few days when other troops arrive. Little Lamb, Obey. Not letting Yang Lei wait much, the next day both the dog demon and the bear demon arrived. Among them, the dog demon had a population of 1578, and the leader Xiaofeng was the demon immortal. The mountain bear tribe had 796 members, but there were two demon immortals among them. One was Xiong Denai, who was the leader, and the other was Xiong Ernai, who was the brother of Xiong Denai's sister. Their strength was the strongest among the three. Looking at the four great Vajras, under his command, Yang Lei arranged, since you have joined my subordinates, you are naturally also members of my demon tribe. I don't care about anything else, I can't see that my subordinates are killing each other. The Shang Yin's face was beaming with joy, and the howling wind was nothing to do with Xiong De and Xiong Er. The food in the mountains was countless, so there was no need to stare at his own sheep. This time, we invite you to come, firstly to divide the territory for everyone, and secondly to recruit soldiers. Yin Shan, the general manager, allowed me a radius of fifty. Since I have no tribal subordinates myself, I can naturally divide all the land among you. Of course, it depends on your efforts. We are willing to be driven by the captain. The four of them almost spoke in unison. 
Yang Lei nodded in satisfaction and then said, Since that's the case, all four of you will serve as guards under my command. Each of your three troops will be 250 strong and strong, while Xiong Air will recruit soldiers in the mountains for three days. If there are any shortcomings, the three of you will make up for 250. He said again, we need that elite. Our demon army is going to fight against the witch race. If our strength is weaker, it would be small for him to lose his own life. If it affects the operation of the army and implicates us and others, that would be a big deal. Yes. The grassland to the south belongs to your sheep tribe, while there is a mountain lake to the east. I see many fish in it, so it belongs to your bear tribe. Whispering wind, which side do you want to go north or west? Xiao Feng's head turned to the melon seeds. If it were to the north, it would have to border with the Xiong tribe, which inevitably led to conflicts. The two demon immortals must have suffered losses for their own families. Colonel, I heard that there is more abundant food in the west, so our tribe should be in the west. Yang Lei nodded and then said, leave the mountain monsters recruited by Xiong Air to the north. If there is any difference, it will be determined based on the amount added by your tribe. The four of them moved quickly, and three of them were formed by their respective tribes on the same day. Xiong Air recruited soldiers in the mountains, but the effect was not ideal. In just three days, more than 30 qualified people were recruited, so three tribes had to fill in and gather 250 people. Not to mention, when a thousand sets of weapons and armor were released, their momentum immediately rose, and the soldiers who obtained these things were not without joy. They were all wild and wild spirits, who could have seen such a treasure. Don't worry, the rank of protector is also a ninth grade official position. Our salary is paid every hundred years, and we haven't formed a military yet. We need to train well first. If my expectations are not bad, by ye demon god will come back next time. After observing the effectiveness of our training, we should also receive some benefits. Seeing that all of our subordinates have issued a set of weapons, Yan Lei's four great vidras naturally became a bit anxious. He also wanted it, but unfortunately, he didn't have anything. Without any tricks, Yang Lei arranged the formation of the flag and began to train his troops in an orderly manner in the mountains. At this point, the grand event in Zixiao Palace is nearing its end. Kuenpeng stared at the Red Cloud Ancestor with resentment in his eyes. Originally, he was sitting in the first row of the Purple Sky Palace. Just now, all seven people in the first row received the Hongmeng Purple Qi bestowed by the Red Cloud Ancestor. This purple chi was a chance to become a saint. Just because of his benevolent nature, Hong Yun gave up his seat to Zhuanti. He was isolated and helpless in this Zixiao palace, and was then lured by Zhuanti to plan. Under the condemnation of everyone, he was taken away from his seat by Zhuanti. That was his chance to become a saint. But coincidentally, the last Hongmeng purple chi automatically chose Hong Yun, this old six. You say you're not angry. All right, that's all for this preaching. Let's go to the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com and leave. There is a treasure rock outside the Purple Sky Palace, which contains some treasures that I obtained when I walked in the wilderness. Now that my chi is full and my body is in harmony with the heavenly way, I can't use it anymore. Since I have this preaching method with everyone, I can't favor one over the other. Let's go. If there is a method, there will be treasures to be distributed. Hong Jun Daozu sat high on the high platform, speaking in a slow voice, and disappeared from sight. Upon hearing this, Sanqing Zhuanli took a step slower and stayed behind, waiting for everyone to retrieve the treasure from the Fenbao Rock before proceeding. The seven of them were not like the others. The treasures were one after another that made people envious, but most of the first ones who came to listen quickly left, afraid of being remembered. Therefore, only a few people saw the scene of these seven people stealing treasures. TSK TSK, Taoist Hongjun really doesn't favor one over the other. The man speaking was none other than the demon emperor Jun, dressed in gorgeous clothes and covered in golden light. Teacher, 
you have your own sense of propriety. If you have no chance with this treasure, then what can you do, was the words of Taoist Yuching. The man next to Emperor Jun, who was as imposing as any other, gave a faint glance and said, we have no connection with this treasure, so we will leave first. There was a strong disdain in his eyes. The jade pillow of the Taoist priest Yu Ching kept jumping, and the Taoist priest Tai Ching beside him reached out his hand to pull it. The man next to Emperor Jun was none other than Dong Huang Tai. As Hong Jun Daozu had already joined forces, there was almost no chance for him to take action. Dong Huang Tai was truly the first person in the wilderness. If he fought alone, no one would be his opponent. After Emperor Jun Tai left, the remaining few also lost their interest in watching the excitement and entered the chaotic void, rushing back to the wasteland. These young lay naturally couldn't see them, but the stream of light generated by the guests in the Zixiao Palace escaping from the heavens and returning to the wasteland world can still be admired. Chapter 10 6 Bao Qing Pill You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Drink. Six harmonies hanging in the sky. Kill. In the Peach Blossom Mountain, there were waves of demonic winds, and a group of demonic soldiers were shouting hard. Six thousand soldiers and horses, under the command of Yin Mountain, gathered the Six Harmony Sky Sword Chi. By ye demon god, can we practice this formation well? Not bad, three years of hard work can be considered above average in my jurisdiction. The Waiki demon god didn't hesitate to appreciate it, and then looked at everyone's expectant eyes and said, since that's the case, I naturally won't miss a reward. Everyone immediately rejoiced. After speaking, with a wave of his sleeve, a row of thirty or so spiritual treasures shining with treasure appeared in front of everyone. These are all spiritual treasures of the later world, with some strong and some weak. You can choose for yourself, and each person can only take one. Bai Yi, the demon god, didn't say much and directly explained. Yang Lei's eyes lit up, and the other five were the same. After making a decision, Yin Shan took a mountain axe, Hu Jiao Jiao took a big hammer, Yin Qi took a big knife, Chang Fengzi took a precious fan, Yu Chen took a long spear, and Yang Lei chose a precious sword. It's not that I admire swordsmanship, it's just that through the induction of the Sankai stone, this precious sword is the best among all spiritual treasures. Don't worry about being happy. Although you have become the weather now, your strength is really inferior. Even if you become a military formation like this, it is difficult to make any progress in the battle. Bai Yi, the demon god, saw everyone's joy and poured a cold water on them. Peach Blossom Mountain formed a force of six thousand demons, among which Yin Mountain was a true immortal, Yang Lei and five others were mysterious immortals, and there were only about thirty remaining demon immortals. The remaining ones had not yet become immortals, all of whom were selected and successfully transformed into spirits in the mountain. Monster God, we are all monsters in the mountains and fields. Our cultivation relies entirely on accumulation. In a short period of time, if we want to improve our strength, there is nothing we can do. Nine out of ten people in the mountains have become members of the Climate Clan, and they have all joined us. However, the foundation of our Peach Blossom Mountain is just like that, Yin Shan said with a bitter smile. I understand, but a year ago, the Qishue tribe of the Wu tribe had already crossed the east bank of the Qishue River and headed west. Now it is encroaching on the plain on the west bank of the Qishue River, and the next step will be my Dongyu Mountain tribes. The Qishue tribe is led by the Qishue Great Witch, with no less than 100,000 followers of the Wu tribe. All the Wu tribe members have cultivation above fairyland, and their strength is such that if they go to the battlefield, how should they deal with it, said the Waiki demon god. This. Yin Shan and others directly gave the cultivation of over 100,000 fairyland to Gonlang. Of course, the strength of our Dongyu mountain tribes is also on par with that of the Qishue tribe. If we really fight, we won't suffer any losses. The strength of Ku Er and others is too poor, and it will be difficult to survive in the war. Bai Yi Demon God just wanted everyone to work hard to improve their strength, 
but he didn't want to scare away his own little brother. Please show it to the demon god, everyone immediately understood the meaning of Bai Ye's words and said straightforwardly. Do you know Dan Yao? Dot? Everyone shook their heads, and Yang Lei naturally knew, but Yin Shan and others did the same and also shook their heads. We practice by swallowing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, refining it into magic power, and enhancing magic power is to enhance our strength. This pill is the one that our practitioners use to refine plants, trees, gold, stones, and even innate spiritual energy, using the magical method of the elixir path and the combination of rulers and officials, to produce pills with many wonderful uses. Speaking in such a boring way, he threw out six immortal pills in his hand and said, This is a pill specially crafted by my Baizai tribe, suitable for adding magic to the Xianxian realm. It is called the Six Treasures and Clear Pills, which is made from a mixture of six spiritual herbs. Eating one pill can fill the Xuanxian's magic for a hundred years. If taken by a true immortal, it can also add about ten years of magic. Please try it. The six people's eyes lit up as they took down the six treasures and clear pills, and their eyes immediately showed a look of surprise. How about it? After taking this pill, I suddenly felt that my magic had increased for twenty years, and the rest needed to be refined. I'm afraid it would take a few more days. It's really a good treasure. Tiger Jiao Jiao said with a joyful and coquettish voice on her face. Ha ha ha, according to your majesty's orders, our demon department provides supplies every ten years, and this pill is also one of them. However, in recent years, our demon court has expanded rapidly, and some supplies are inevitably not taken into account. Therefore, our Dongyu mountain tribes have changed to provide supplies once every hundred years. Of course, there are not many things, but this hundred-year period is indeed a bit long, which is not friendly to the members of our demon tribe. Today, I will distribute the first hundred-year supply to you. The next payment will be two hundred years later, said Bai Yi, the demon god. Listening to the benefits, everyone naturally rejoiced and quickly agreed. The saying goes, it's better to be a mermaid than to be a fisherman. Today, I will pass on this alchemy technique, as well as the art of refining weapons. You can learn more without any worries. There are many treasures in Peach Blossom Mountain, and if you succeed in the future, you can supply and solve them on your own. Isn't it beautiful? Thank you, Demon God. Everyone showed a joyful expression. Everyone was delighted, but Yin Shan smelled a different flavor. Normal people know that anything can be moved, but military expenses cannot be moved. However, at this time, according to the meaning of Bai Yi Demon God, the Taowa Mountain tribes are expected to raise funds on their own. It may sound like teaching alchemy and weapon refining techniques, but what's not good is that your army's demonic court doesn't care. If it doesn't, what are you still recruiting? But what if the demon court allocated military funds and the middle layer took them away? After looking at the supplies in his hand, Yang Lei found 12,000 ordinary pills, 65 complete great tonifying pills taken by the demon immortal realm and 36 treasure cleansing pills. He didn't know if it was too much or too little, but his intuition told him that his share should not have been embezzled or he had drawn very little, but he should have drawn a lot of things from his subordinates. In the past three years, there have been no major events in Taohua Mountain. Bai Yugue, who recorded the secret technique of the Golden Immortal, also comprehended it once. To be honest, it was of great help to Yang Lei. The secret method at this time is not a cultivation method of later generations, and one can reach any level by following the steps. The secret method records the teachings of Emperor Jun and the top ten demon saints. Looking for Yang Lei in the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com to observe this secret method is equivalent to these few people explaining the way from becoming an immortal to becoming a golden immortal. They explained it clearly and clearly, but Yang Lei had to rely on himself to understand the method of cultivation. There are three thousand great paths, and one of them can become a saint. Nowadays, only Daozu Hongjun occupies one of them. There are very few other Taoist practices that have achieved the great Luo realm, 
which occupies the origin of the heavenly Tao. Therefore, at this time, the teachings passed on to others are basically methods that indicate the direction. If one directly passes on the cultivation techniques of later generations, it is equivalent to passing on the path that others have already walked, which is harmful. Through Bai Yugue, Yang Lei's path to immortality has become clear, and he has also developed a concept of condensing the five qi, which can be said to solve the urgent problem. The training of the demon army is also orderly, and it can be said that everything is developing on the right track. The only regret is that the black water mysterious snake ran away. At the moment when the mountain formation was slightly successful, Yin Shan led a cadre to carefully plan a plan to capture the black water mysterious snake in the name of practicing tactics. But the result is obvious. Even with the cooperation of dragon worms as internal agents to monitor the underground situation and prevent the black water Xian snake from escaping, they still couldn't catch the black water Xian snake. They also don't know where the black water Xian snake got the news and secretly moved away from the cold water tan. They don't know where they went. Looking at the situation in the cold pool, the black water Xian snake may have been away for some time. Yang Lei naturally knew about this matter, but he couldn't explain it to Yin Shan. Could he tell Yin Shan directly? Last time your daughter Dot in Dot Law had a private meeting with Black Water Xianxi, she talked about all the things that didn't last long enough for you, let alone what plan you had. Keeping it in his heart all this time, Yang Lei felt a bit uncomfortable and always wanted to find a chance to explode thunder for Yin Shan. As of now, Yin Shan is still a good leader. If there is a 10,000 yuan deal, it is his fault.